Hello, hello, Flutter Flow developers. Hello, friends, and welcome to Apex Flow YouTube channel. My name is Andre, and today we will talk about a new cool feature for our PDF module in Apex Flow. Uh, it's a QR code generator, and today we will build and sample our app to uh, handle some signups, some uh, music festival ticket generations, and we will get some user data like name and selected sector for our concert and we'll generate a ticket that look like this and as you can see it include qr code qr code uh, is one of the most requested feature for our pdf generator module for flutter flow and uh, uh, we spend a lot of time uh, planning how it will work, uh, uh, about what options will be available, and etc. And finally, we are glad to uh, show you and to release it to public. If you will have any feedback, we are very, will be very thankful and very open to your feedback. Please let us know if you need any features, if you need any additional options, or if you will have questions. So. To uh, work with our application to generate actually a PDF ticket, we will create a new project here and I will name it QR code demo, QR code demo, and I will create a project. So in API flow for PDF module, we have cool feature called presets. And for this demo, I will use actually this preset template for uh, ticket. It's already predefined in the system. It already has some uh, size. It already has some background and etc. As you remember, in API flow, you have very flexible tools to build layout of your uh, PDF, to change sizes, to change backgrounds, to uh, change fonts and etc. For example, we can easily change background here, position and etc how the ground covers our page and uh, we can change any any options required to generate our pdf in this case it's a concert ticket and as you can see here some grid is used to manage layout of my uh, ticket and also we have a data model here let's have a look at it's small small model we have name we have some ticket id we have sector for our concert we have ticket link and we have price so let's let's check let's check how it will work for our uh, application but first of all i want to replace these QR code and show you actually how you can use, how you can insert QR code into your application. So the moment this is static image, use it in template. I will remove it and then to insert QR code, I will click this button QR code. And as you can see, you can insert any static values. So for example, I want to use some static link and I will uh, create uh, my QR code from static link. I also can change call, uh, QR code color, background color, and etc. So as you can see, it, it will look like this. Uh, but in our case, we will insert QR code from data field. So I send my ticket link here and this will be our like validation for the, our ticket is valid uh, you also can send some checksum you can send some custom data and etc or any data uh, any text data required for your case for your task in your application and here we will uh, choose some nice nice like this orange color and maybe a little bit hmm, or, or maybe not i suppose it will be fine we will insert a ticket like this so i will have this 
uh, QR code here. I will save, save it. And you see, as you can see, all the other data fields is already uh, set. You can check other videos. We also have tutorials here to see how actually to work with different tasks related to PDF. And I encourage you to ask questions. If you have any, we will definitely help you. You can ask, uh, ask us via chat on website. You can ask us using YouTube. I recommend personally asking via chat if you already uh, have account or you, are, uh, you uh, started, you just subscribed. You also can ask me to YouTube uh, comments uh, or propose some ideas. Uh, okay, let's see how, how it look like. Let's check it. So as you can see, we, we need a little bit, we need a little bit adjust this uh, PDF, uh, this QR code. So what I will do, I will align it to the center and now I will check how my preview looks like. So you can see it now looks like fine. It's aligned. So we have everything in place. And now we are ready to publish our project and start integration with Photoflow. So uh, we will uh, we have two options here. We can uh, use uh, API group or we can use custom action. It depends from your case. It depends from your experience. By default, system recommend API group if you don't have very complex fields here. So if you have very simple model uh, that can be easily converted to a plain JSON uh, with one uh, maybe level of fields uh, without arrays, without some like you know complex data objects, uh, our system will recommend you to use API groups. If you have uh, but uh, pay attention to use API groups in uh, Photoflow, you will need to have a paid account. So it's not accessible in free account. In any uh, other case, if you will have more complex data or you have only free account in uh, Flutterfall, as custom actions is available in free account uh, of Flutterfall, you can use custom actions. Custom actions require a little bit knowledge of uh, like code, but all code is generated already so you can use it. Uh, we will use API group. So I will download open API definition. I will go to my Photoshop project, go to API calls and we'll upload this API definition. It will generate for us uh, API that I can use to generate my uh, PDF. But what I need to do also, I need to copy authorization header, go here and add it into these settings. Now I click save. So this is protection to uh, enable safety for our API endpoint. And, and now we have this action uh, generate PDF and actually we have here uh, now um, now our uh, options set and we have uh, now ability to integrate it into our application. But one more step that I recommend to do and it's actually pretty good to do is to create data type for PDF asset. So we go to our data types, click create from JSON and we now name it PDF asset, copy uh, JSON sample from here, insert it, click create. And our PDF asset uh, model will be created. PDF asset model is usual model used for uh, PDF generation result. And as you can see, it has some uh, auto-generated ID, uh, permanent link a to a PDF name of PDF, shared link, which is valid for a week or any custom interval, you can set two options. Uh, shared until actually contains timestamp with information about how long PDF will be, uh, shared link will be valid. And also you can set password. So, the, or you can 
choose to auto generate password and this password will be returned in this result so now we what we need to do we need to go and set our pdf assets data type as a result of our action so let's let's do this and save it and next what we do we actually can now generate our pdf using this api action so we go to our application and now when i click buy ticket i will actually actually will use api call and in this api call i will use generate pdf call and now i will set name to widget state name and uh, ticket id let's set some uh, we can set some static value for example very long uh, now we want to set for example sector will be our widget state sector and uh, ticket link we can you can definitely build some build some specific link or you can send any data this is what will be generated into our QR code I remind, I remind you and price we can send some static price uh, in this case i uh, set most of fields to static values just to showcase uh, this very quick very simple definitely in your application you will have some dynamic data you will have some models that will provide this data and here we will name it generated pdf okay cool so actually this action will generate our pdf and will return will return for us a pdf asset what we need to do we want uh, also preview our PDF, our ticket, our generated ticket at the second page. So what we need to do, we will go to app state and we'll create here PDF link variable, which will be a type string and it will be empty by default. It will be just, just space. And now we will go back to our, to our uh, buy ticket action in here. If everything successful, we will set our app state variable PDF link to result of our API call. So we will have this action output generated PDF as data type data structure field link so you can see or you can use shared link if it need to be limited to, to some amount of time and after this we want to navigate to preview so we updated our app state and now we can navigate to preview and at preview page we actually here we will bind our property network pass to app state PDF link. So it will be it will be a preview to our we actually can get this and then set it into our here in our app state. So it will it will use our network network pass. Uh, okay, great. Let's. Uh, I don't know why it shows that PDF viewer misconfigured. I suppose it will work just fine. For maybe this is some temporary bug. Uh, maybe this is something because before I never faced it. I hope everything will work fine. I hope everything will work fine. So let's go and check how it works. 
uh, let's start our application test. So my application just loaded and now I will test how it works. So I will fill name three and now if you will select sector, for example, fan and we'll click buy ticket. And as you can see, it generated for us. We can see preview of our ticket. And now we can, we have this QR code generated here from variable that we sent. And as you can see, a ticket number is set to what we typed and uh, price is also set to what we sent in our data to uh, a before application. So now, uh like you can use qr code uh in any place of your pdf it can receive any any meaningful data usually you will use some text data or some hashes to generate qr code uh, i hope this will and and chance uh, abilities of your application will allow you to create more uh, different useful scenarios about if you will be interested how to you can create download ticket i uh, recently uploaded a video about how to use download feature in uh, Flutterflow. so i recommend you to check it as i mentioned we have a lot a lot of different uh, tutorials here i hope you will find them useful too uh, I, uh, this new tutorial about QR code generation will be also soon available in this list. So I hope this will be useful. Uh, like this video, comment this video, subscribe to our channel if you didn't uh, don't, um, didn't uh, subscribe yet. And thank you for your attention and have a nice day.